if you're watching this and you've had a lot of failed dates or early on in the relationship, it just always goes sour. It's true that success leaves clues, but so does failure. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing under nothing .com. I am Fuck It. And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Guys, today I want to talk to you, especially to those of you that have issues in your relationships, you know, um, starting at the very first step of attracting, meeting people, whether it's online or in person, and perhaps you have a track record of failed relationships, right? Maybe you get the first date and then you don't get the second date and it seems like a trend. Might be the second, third date, might be a month into the dating relationship and things just go sideways. And some of you, and believe me, I count myself in this group at a time in my life you just seem to always have the same basic period of time to where things start to go south. And you know, you start off, there's initial attraction, you seem to have a lot in common, everyone's got their best foot forward. And you get a little bit down the line, people start to let their hair down, right? It takes time to get to know somebody. And all of a sudden, it's like, what the heck happened here? You know, things are going south, um, that's where you really got to start to look in the mirror and say, okay, what's going on here? What am I doing? What is there like issues with my expectations? You know, am I being realistic in what I'm expecting from somebody? Am I being realistic in what I'm expecting, how I'm expecting things to develop? Am I you know, being honest about what my expectations, what the other's ex expectations are. And so what happens is, you know, you when you look in the mirror and you say, okay, am I expecting too much? Am I expecting that I met Mr. Miss Wright, my soulmate, all these things. It takes time to get to know somebody. It takes time to really see true colors. When, ev when everyone's relaxed, the makeup is off, the hair is down, you know, the first time someone passes gas in the room, you know, the reaction to it, or life situations to be more serious. When life situations come up, how do they handle stress? How do they handle conflict? You know, um, and these are things that, you know, in the initial first dates, you're not really getting the true picture because everyone is politicking. Right, everyone's a politician trying to sell themselves, right? A better said, a salesman. And only until the going gets tough, like good example, you go and buy something, right? You got a great slick salesman, tells you all the great things about this product, and we've got great customer support, and all of a sudden you take, you know, the car home or the computer or the whatever, and all of a sudden it starts to have problems. Why the heck is it so hard to get that person on the line? Why is it so hard to get help? It's because you, they sold you on it, you bought it, boom, now it's like you're on your own. Somebody who's credible when that going gets tough is going to present themselves well. They're gonna actually call you back. They're actually gonna fix the problem. A lot of times people won't. And you gotta go through a bunch of lemons, but you know what happens after you got a bunch of lemons? You squeeze them and now you have some lemonade. Like, share, subscribe.